65 kilograms. That's going to be Joey McKenna. In the red, red and blue single taking on Rich Lovett. Lovett in the blue singlet. Red big shoes. test, big test here with um, for Rich Lovett and Joey McKenna. Apart from Yanni Diakmos, has really been kind of the mainstay in 65 kilograms for quite a while. Underhook on that right side for Rich Lovett. Rich Lovett of Southwest Kids Wrestling Club. 14 seconds left in the left side attempt there for Joey McKenna. Normally you see him favor that single leg. A nice little down block kind of blocked. Oh wow. Blocked him a great drag there from McKenna. Just released that pressure expertly. Now he's working on a gut wrench. The two is awarded McKenna tough on top. Great job popping those hips. Underhook on that right side now for Rich Levin. Bearing that head is Joy McKenna. Now trying to jack him up, but McKenna's really savvy upper body. Just a wrestler that's skilled in all positions. You can't really find a, a place where Joy's not competent. Passivity warning coming for Rich Lovett. They're kind of letting this sequence play out before they warn him. Now he's been warned. Minute 20 to go here in the first period. 4 0 Joy McKenna with the lead. And of course, the winner here, the, well, we got Jake Hughes and Sasso in your other semifinal just getting ready to start. That's 70. Oh, that is 70. It was, I think Nick Lee beat Bo Bartlett. Okay. So the winner of this, we'll see Nick Lee. Matt one, or Matt two is one ahead because of the forfeit of Spencer Lee right. against Nick Soriano. Of course, Yanni Diakmahal is sitting to Final X. The winner of this tournament is going to see him June 10th. The right to represent the United States at the World Championships. Belgrade, is that right? The World Championships? Yeah, back to back Belgrade. Belgrades. Serbia. Shallow underhook for, for Lovett. He'd love to be able to get two under there. Kenna seems a little content with, with his 4-0 lead right now. R Ridge is coming hands low, and he's like, you know what, I don't need to press it. And, and really, it's smart because, you know, it's been a, a, you know, a criticism of Ridge is he's so great, but his, the leg attacks are, are often not there. He doesn't fire a lot. Joey probably knows that. Joey's smart. He's a student of the sport. He knows Ridge's skill set. He's like, this guy's probably not going to change his level and score on me. So I'm not going to go there either. Doesn't need to take any unnecessary risk at this point. I don't know, I say Joey's going to shut it down the rest of the period. I think he's just going to be, you know, more calculated. With that 4-0 lead, he doesn't have to get into any unnecessary situations. Oh, nice left side high crotch for McKenna. Second time he shot that one. This time it's successful. He's trying here to work through a crack back in. Love it, tries to take him through, but He's gonna hang on, power through, and finish himself. Six nothing now. Kenna with the lead. Oh, that guy. Oh. Good job out of Love it. Fighting that off. Kenna's so good at popping his hips on those, on those gut wrenches. We've been watching him do that for how long now, Vader? Remember Junior Worlds, he made silver. I think he was silver as a high schooler at Junior Worlds, which is really, really tough to do. And the, his parterre offense always set him apart. 
he's been adding to his skill set. You know, he and Coach Slay, and you know, of course, his time at Ohio State with the Buckeyes, he's just been adding and adding and adding every step of the way. And before that, Buxton, he just had some high-level oh, coaches yeah. for, you know. No kidding. Long time. Look, mini little 103, 106 pound Jordan McKenna back in the day, he just looked like a baby. Crushing people, and here we are, 10 years later. He's just not quite as little anymore. Who's gonna, you know that. Ooh, that's gonna be rigid, well, yeah. No, they're going one I thought, yeah, and that's. They're gonna throw the brick. Good brick from Turvell here is, is McKenna's head hit first. Have you noticed, especially from where we're sitting, like at eye level with the mat, the, the, the zone circle and the out of bounds are similar colors. Very tough to see. Also, we're old. It's dim in here. You know, yes. we'll give ourselves an out. It's a little, little easier when you stand up. Yeah. Like right eye level. I miss those pretty yellow mats, Painter. Those, no, those were so cool. Yellow, red, just red, <laughs> yellow, blue. blue. Is that right? Yeah. Sion's walking around. Sion's walking around. I guess they kicked him off the craps table. That's the only reason he's standing there. Or he ran out of money. No, he's supervising us. Okay. Okay. But I think he ran out of money. He's got to cash in a comic book or two to re-up. So 8-0, McKenna, one takedown away from closing this thing out. Right in the middle of the second period. Double overs here for Joey. He farts, he fights it down. He, <laughs> did you I, say he farts it down? I don't think he did that. <laughs> I think he, I think he fights. fights. Yeah. Probably the right word. Oh man, I'm gonna go back and watch this. Oh, yeah. I don't want to accuse a man of that. So 8-1 McKenna. He's looking pretty fantastic so far. Yeah, we're under a minute to go. Second period of action. He was out of an underhook. There's a shot from Ridge Lovett. Joey McKenna does a nice job catching it. Now short offense position here. See if he works to score. This is a good spot for Joey. He can score from here. Gives up the position, 28 seconds to go. And good pressure there from Lovey. Slips that boot in. This could be two, and it is two. Love it. So eight three. Not too concerning if you're McKenna. Uh, Seventeen uh, seconds to go. Double to single. There's a nice shot from Ridge. Love it. He's got to beat this wizard now. Short time remaining. It's an eight three lead, and McKenna can go out of bounds. That's gonna do it, Christian. Match over. Eight three win for Joy McKenna. Joy McKenna, Nick Lee, is that right? That's right.